All right, let's shift gears to a topic, Blake, that a lot of fans are going to be super thrilled about. And this is Fan Fest, which is now renamed Dodger Fest and is no longer free. Blake, we've joked a lot on this show about, hey, when you spend $1.3 billion on free agents, you might have to shell out a couple extra bucks for parking. I guess the good news is this isn't something you have to pay every single time you go to the stadium. But Fan Fest, which used to be free, is now Dodger Fest. $10 $10 per person. Give me your immediate reaction to the news that this, this free event, no longer free parking, still free, but $10 to get in. Yeah. I kind of laughed my immediate reaction. Cause it just felt like this is the off season. They had to do it. Like if they did it last off season, they're like, Hey, but here's yeah. Miguel Rojas and Noah Syndergaard. It's just like, Fans would have been very upset with that. Of course, they had the Fernando Jersey retirement announcement last year, but they couldn't advertise that going into it. So this year, they're already advertising. Shohei is going to be there. Glass now is going to be there. And it makes sense that this is the year they're doing it. I I mean, it's. I know that one side says it's $10. Like, who cares? Get over it. But I think it's also fair to point out, anytime you start charging for something that used to be free, there's going to be backlash to it. Yeah. And I understand why people would be upset about that. Dodger fans give a lot of time and money to this team. And now to ask for money for the f- event that used to be free to celebrate the fans, like it's a little weird and I don't love it personally. I'm pretty sure the money goes to that. Los Angeles Dodger Foundation, so they're not just like paying for Otani's yeah. contract or anything with it. So that makes it better. At least it's going to a good cause, but it's still just not ideal to like sell baseballs more or something, like do something to make the money. Like don't charge to the free event. That's it's just weird. I like the person in the comments asking if you can defer payments on your ten dollar uh, admission cost. That's a good one. Yeah, look, I get. I, I don't think there's an inappropriate reaction to this. Um, as you pointed out, there's lots of people in our comments right now saying, who cares? It's $10. You know, that's obviously an inexpensive way to get into Dodger Stadium. Um, and the fact that depending on who is there, like if Shohei Otani is there, if Yamamoto is there, if Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman and Will Smith are there, then Clayton Kershaw potentially. I mean, these are all potential names that paying $10 to see. And obviously you'd have to pay more for meet and greets and autograph sessions, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. I'm not sure if they've announced any autographs this year. I think someone said they weren't doing any, but I find that hard to believe. I think there's still going to come some autograph sessions available and it's just the point of it just seems weird to me, like that they're charging it. I know it's $10. Yes, but it's still just something you're going to make people mad when you start charging for a free event. And look, I am pro the Dodgers Foundation. I'll be honest. It's even weirder to me that they're charging money and donating it all. Like at that point, it feels like you could do this a lot differently. If they just said, hey, we're charging 10 bucks, (laughs) like period, money's coming to us, helping pay the payroll, you know, like I would have been like, yeah, I mean, whatever. It's a business. This is a business. Their job is to make money. And this is an event that 50,000 people are going to show up at probably with or without a $10 fee. And so $500,000 $500,000 isn't insignificant. It's weird to me that they're starting to take a free event, charging it just so they can raise the money for charity. Again, it's for a good cause. So I'm pro the cause. I, that's That piece to me is weird. So I get the people that say, hey, it's only $10. Who cares? And the people that say, hey, the Dodgers are a business. This isn't a charity. So like expecting them to just do things to make us happy for no reason is not necessarily reasonable. At the same time, and you kind of touched on this, Blake, it is Fan Fest. Well, now it's called Dodger Fest, I guess. But if it is about the fans, this feels like the one sort of thing that, hey, we're going to honor our fans, make it accessible maybe to people that $10 a person isn't totally feasible to have. I, I kind of, I, I don't know. I, as weird as it sounds, Blake, I think you could kind of have any reaction to this news, and I think I'd be okay with it. Yeah, I think that's fair. And then I think there's also something we haven't touched on is $10, like for one ticket, yeah, it's $10, but if you go with a family of four or need to get more, now you're looking at $40 that potentially would have bought you some merchandise before or at least food for your family. So now if you want to go there and get food, you're doubling or even yeah. tripling that price potentially. And now you're looking at 80 to 120 and really all you've got in is you've got in and you've got the food instead of getting in for free and using that money for the food like previous years. So it's all connected here. Like 
And now that they're saying it's ten dollars, maybe next year it goes up to fifteen. Yeah. Maybe the year after that it's twenty. Like this is just the start of it. And I think anytime you introduce the concept of paying for the ticket, then it's gonna open up the possibility it's gonna go up in the future. So I do think people are justified to be upset about this. And I also get your point, like people can also have the reaction of who cares, it's ten dollars. I'm not gonna really judge anyone for how they react to this. Yeah, I think everyone's going to react based on their own circumstances, and that's totally fine. But just for me personally, I don't love the idea of charging. I yeah. get it, but also it used to be free. It's been free since its creation, so keep it that way. It's just my take. Yeah, and again, if 50,000 people come and they charge $10, that's $500,000. In the grand scheme of things for an organization like the Dodgers, I mean, that's that's a that's a dent. That's a small dent. You know, that's that's a golf ball rolling off of your bumper for the Dodgers. Um, yeah. You've been to Fan Fest. G- give us like the the 60 second for the people that may be unfamiliar with this event, kind of what exactly they'd be walking into. So I went to I think it was the second Fan Fest they did, and it was kind of a mess. So ha- hope they don't have that anymore, thankfully. Um, now it's more they have all the shops and restaurants are open. So you can go there. You can go on the field and they have different like activities kind of set up like photo booths and arm painting and face painting kind of things. And then they have the main stage where the players come out and do interviews and talk and they have a DJ there. And there's just a lot of things going on all at the same time. And then they usually have opportunities to pay for meet and greets and autographs and stadium tours. So it's kind of just a way to go celebrate the Dodgers, be at the stadium with your friends or family or whoever you end up going with and potentially get some autographs, hear the players kind of, it's basically the kickoff of the new season yeah. to celebrate the upcoming season. So you get to see all the new players, of course, all the new players do media stuff. So you're going to hear about that after. And it's, it's fun. It's a lot, a lot of waiting in line, a little like the Disneyland experience. They are just not as many people and no rides. You're going to end up getting the autographs or photos or whatever, but there's a lot that goes on and it's a fun time if you go. They also shortened it, by the way, is the other piece of this. Um, on their website, they say, uh, join us for a 90-minute stage presentation featuring interviews with new Dodgers Shohei Otani and Tyler Glasnow, as well as visits from familiar faces like Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, Joe Kelly, Dave Roberts, and more. Um, immerse yourself in the world of Dodger pride as we bring you engaging player interviews, fan question and answer, exclusive insights into the upcoming season, and more. Um, so, you know, hey, if Otani's en- ends up being there, that's kind of a big deal. Um, but, you know, I, again, I sympathize with everybody. I-, I like when sporting events and teams have something that is free. Um, you know, you and I are both college football fans. College football, like the Ducks, Oregon Ducks, they have the spring game every spring. They don't sell it out. It's free to go in. And so what they ask is for people to bring canned goods. You donate the canned goods to the local food bank. And that's sort of your entry. They're not actually checking for this. But like, I like that there's an option for the family that can't afford to go to a game or, you know, the the youth organization that wants to bring a bunch of kids that maybe can't afford to go. I I like having those sort of opportunities. So it's kind of a bummer that this opportunity is gone. Um, And yet again, maybe it's just me cynical in 2024 saying the Dodgers are, are a business. And so even if this money is going to the foundation, it just helps me understand maybe the ways that they uh, they make some of their decisions. So again, Fan Fest, no longer Fan Fest, now Dodger Fest, no longer free, now $10, no longer whatever length it used to be. It's 90 minutes shorter than it used to be. Um, well, let's, I'll add this real quick. If the Dodgers said at the beginning of the offseason, we'll sign Yamamoto and Otani, but Fan Fest is going to be $10, will you do it? I think most of us would have said yes. I said I would have paid for parking one time. And yeah. As media, I get the parking for free. So, like, I mean, I'm okay with the small donation, I guess, but it's still a little disappointing. It's They're charging now for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So I, I'm sure that's going to be uh, – Mixed reviews from fans, I would say. Again, just looking through our comments, we got people to say, who cares? We got people to say, let's start a petition. We got people that says it's stupid. It's the uh, it's the whole spectrum. So thanks for the uh, the feedback on that. 